Old lime kilns are a common but decreasing feature of the rural landscape of Ayrshire. Lime was originally produced for use in mortar for buildings, but when it was discovered that by adding quicklime to soil it sweetened it, as it has reduced the acidity and improved plant growth, then it was starting to produce by farms individually or industrially. The production of quicklime, that is calcium oxide, involved the use of limestone, usually locally quarried, and also the, a fuel, usually coal. If it was a farm, it would be perhaps a periodic use, but if it was on a large scale, it could be continuous. The smell could be awful, and you get interesting names like the, the Slough of Despond near Symington, and uh, Reek Street, which is linked with the huge lime kiln, double lime kiln, uh, near Gateside, not far from Bees. The main features of the old style kilns was the kiln bowl, often lined with the heat resistant bricks, and at the bottom was the draw hole or the eye. Often there's associated with it a slope, and this slope would be for carts to bring up the coal and limestone to tip into the bowl from the top, and a fire was lit from beneath. It was either a, a single use or it could be kept going continuously. When in use, the kiln had to be kept a close eye on, and sometimes there are small buildings nearby for the workers. On occasions, um, particularly on cold nights, they would sleep um, at the top, and there are sad stories of folk turning over in their sleep and falling in. When using the lime for the fields, the product was quicklime, calcium oxide. This is highly reactive with water and will give off extreme heat and can explode. This is why they were often stored in sheds before they were taken out on the fields. At Nettlehurst near Bar Mill in North Ayrshire are the still quite substantial remains of the old style industrial scale production of calcium oxide. Apart from the use of calcium hydroxide in fields, it could be slaked, that is water added to it, to produce calcium hydroxide. This was used in the production of lime mortar and also whitewash. Some of the more unusual uses of calcium oxide was when it was added to the graves of the executed criminals who would destroy the flesh. Also, it was added to such cases as cholera pits with our mass burials, and the quicklime was added to both destroy the flesh and also to, to neutralize the cholera. Nineteenth century ordnance survey maps normally mark old lime kilns. In the landscape today, they're normally noticed because they have things like trees growing on them, or they, they appear to be unusual shapes, that is, mounds, or you may even see the remains of lime workings nearby. Because they're hollow, often the soil will tip into the draw hole, which will be exposed, but the top of the kiln is usually filled in in some way, clearly being a danger. The black site lime kilns are a remarkable survival. They stand quite close to Caperton Castle, not far from Rickerton in Ayrshire. They're in surprisingly good condition. You can still see the grates and also the grills that held back the calcium oxide before it fell down into the draw hole and was extracted. The site had an extensive railway network. This was linked to the Kamarnock and Troon Railway, the oldest railway in Scotland. This is how the limestone was brought in and the calcium oxide taken away. Many lime kilns were located at harbours where ships could bring in the limestone and the coal. Many lime kilns have been destroyed due to developments such as the building of roads and housing estates.